So welcome back guys. We're going to do uh, part 8 and to do that, I'm, as I said, I was going to go back and show you how to do these chamfers using the same technique as we used back in drawings 1, 2 and 3 where we create the block and then remove the part. So here we go. Top left hand corner, new metric standard part, create. Nothing different here. Same again, back up to the top left hand corner for start sketch. Select the XY plane. Select our rectangle, going back to what we did in drawings 1, 2 and 3. Find the origin, it goes green. Click, drag it out. It's going to be 30 tab 20. Enter. Go to our drawing square, click on the front. There it is. 30 millimeters wide, 20 millimeters high. Finish sketch, extrude sketch, 50 millimeters because all our blocks are 30 by 20 by 50. Go OK. So now it's going to be go up to our drawing cube and click on the corner. Yep. And my mouse starts to behave itself. Alright, just uh, check my mouse, that's better, so check on the corner, now we have it here, it'll help if we orientate at, so that our block is in the same orientation on our screen as it is on our piece of paper. So I do that by going back to up to our drawing block and clicking on the corner. Now I have the same orientation on here as I do on my drawing. Remember I'm going to produce a sketch and I'm going to put it on this face here. It's on the short face. I'm going to go back up to Project Geometry. Remember, we haven't used that in a while now, so just click on Project Geometry. Select the face. It should have a nice yellow border. We do, which is good. And looking at our drawing, we're going to try and remove this corner. And I'm going to do, use that, do that using the Line tool. A bit like what we did in Drawings 4, 5 and 6. I'm going to draw the triangular shape and then remove it from the using the triangular shape. So, line tool, anywhere on this top line, doesn't matter. I'm going to deliberately do it bigger than what I want, and I'm going to do it at a different angle to what I want. Corner, and back to our start. Notice when it goes back to the start, it'll go green again. We get a nice big green dot. Yep, click. Go, okay, so I've got my shape just like we would have done uh, previously. It looks like as I scroll over, I've got that line, that line, but I don't have a line here. So I'm going to go and put a line in here. Going to connect that line to that line there and go okay. So now I'm just checking to make sure I've got those lines all the way around. Awesome. Looking at our drawing, it tells us that the, sh the length of this component here, from that point to the edge, has to be 10. So we go to our dimension tool and go from this point to that point is going to be 10. Enter. Looking at our drawing, it's telling us that from the base up to that point is going to be 10. Enter. So, see, straight away, I don't have to know anything about trigonometry because I, just by filling in the information I know from my drawing, I can see what part I have to cut out or add to it. So, that's my triangle drawn in. I'm going to finish that sketch 
Now I'm going to use the extrude tool, but I'm going to use the cut option, which is the second option. So I go up to the extrude tool. That's next to the start sketch. Come down to option two. I'm going to go all, because I want to go all the way through. I don't want it to stop anywhere. I'm going to scroll over the triangle. See how it changes color as I go over it? Select it. Oh, can't select. Like the wrong part. So extrude. Okay, we don't want to extrude it, we want to cut it. We want to go all. So that's the advantage of seeing the preview before you do it to make sure what you want to happen is going to happen. That's what I want to remove, correct, and go OK. So now I have a block that looks the same as my drawing block. File, save as, file, save as, and this one's going to be drawing eight. Drawing eight and save. Just rotate it around, do a final check. Yes, it is the same profile. I'm happy, I'm finished. In our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do drawing number 9.